All right, so this is a story about another time I almost got into it. Now this, I almost got into it with that one guy, the one big Mexican guy with the do-rag on, on my first day of juvenile hall. After I got into um, a fight with the first guy, he was the one that came up to my door and said, hey man, I'm gonna fuck you up, you know, you're fucking dead, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, you would go to school in juvenile hall. Um, so, you know, and we were, we had different classes, me and him. So we, were, we, were, we were wait in line and um, wait to enter our classrooms. So, you know, every day uh, I would pass by his class and he was, you know, he was there waiting in line. Um, you know, some days he'd be quiet. One day he would just be, you know, one day he was like, hey, you know, chink, 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 chink. I was, when I was walking through my classroom door, you know. And I, I was like, man, I kind of got caught off guard, so I just fucking just flipped him off, you know. So, what was funny is that day of that incident, because like I said before, before it, there wasn't really any fucking incidents between me and him. He just he was just quiet, but I think he was probably having a bad day. He wanted to show off to his friends. But that day in my classroom, my teacher wasn't there, so they had to merge our classrooms together with, you know, that that room that that guy was in. So I was like, oh shit, okay, man, I'm gonna fucking fighting and shit, you know? So, you know, a lot of shit was going through my mind, you know, that fool was fucking big. So, you know, so we ended up going into the room, you know, I was kind of nervous, but, you know, in that situation, you know, so someone talks shit to you, especially, you know, that has to do with race, you know, that shit, that shit doesn't really fly, you know? So, I went up there, I, as I walked in, I saw him and I just, I think I just started mumbling stuff under my mouth, like stupid fuck. And he was like, what? And I was like, man, fuck, you. what's up, you know, fuck. And then he was like, man, what's up then, you know, fuck, you know, I was like, man, what's up, Ooh, you know? I was, and then there's, there's, there's two things that I learned in juvenile hall. It's not good things that I learned, but there's two things that I learned if you want, if you want to get under someone's nerves, if you want to fight, number one, is you say, fuck your hood, automatic. Number two, you say, fuck your dead homies. It's even a deeper cut, you know? So I got fucking mad. I was like, man, fuck your hood, you know? Fuck your dead homies and shit. And his homies was looking at him. I was like, hey, man, hey, what's, what's up, pedal? He's like, so you doing anything or what? He was, he's like, oh, no, I got, I got court, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, hey, man, what's up? And then I, I, I learned a, another phrase from juvenile hall too. Um, it was, you know, I guess when you don't want, I used it one, cause I didn't want to fucking go and attack him and shit. I was like, man, fuck, what's up, man? Rush me, rush me, you know, rush me. So I, I, I kind of wanted him to initiate it first. Cause like I said, you know, that really wasn't in me. Um, but, you know, he didn't get out of his chair. And then the, the teacher was, hey man, what's going on? You know, stop it, you know, you know, be, you know, you know stop making a scene. They rang this little bell. They push, you know, during emergencies. So they pushed that bell, and then staff came and got me outside. And that kind of, you know, they're asking me what happened, you know. And I was kind of emotional. Kind of told them what size, man. For the, you know, I guess I kind of snitched. I was like, man, for, man, how, how come you a chink, you know? He was like, oh man, you can't have that. So they wanted to talk to that. He, they wanted to talk to him, and uh, talk to him outside. They brought him outside, and I guess they kind of like let him know what's up. Like, yeah, you know, what. Well, you know, you can't call him a chink, whatever. That guy came over, I guess they made him shake my hand. You know, I'm not sure if it was forced or not, but you know, we, you know, we shook hands, we went back in the room and just, you, you know, we started uh, doing work. You know, it was funny because, you know, when they were handing out papers and pencils and shit, they were, I can tell they were hesitant to give me a pencil, you know? I wasn't gonna fucking stab nobody, but I guess the way I conducted myself, you know, they probably thought I was gonna use it like incorrectly, but you know, after that incident, I guess I had like a little rep in juvenile hall. Um you know, which I used to my advantage, you know. Um, I didn't really get any comments or anything after that. But in regards to that guy, um, we ended up going to like another classroom when we were put together and there was a ping pong table. And then um, all, the, all the juveniles would switch turns, you know, sh rallying the uh, 
the ping pong back and forth playing ping pong and shit and then eventually um it was my turn and his turn and then we were just rallying and after our little rally um when class was over he actually came up to me he's hey man you know respect you know i was like man you know respect and it's all good you know this the the same thing with the first guy I got in a fight with. Um, because a couple of days after we got in a fight with the first guy, he actually came into my room because he was a, he had a job to paint the rooms. And he was like, hey man, I thought we were going to fight again. You know, because I didn't see him again um, after our first fight. So he turned around, you know, because he was in my room. He said, hey man, don't, don't be fucking, uh, be fucking um, sucker punching me. I was like, oh no, man. You know, I don't do that shit. Then he's like, I'm oh, respect, you know, it's cool. You know, what I learned is like, my lesson is this, you know, kids can be cruel because, you know, they're ignorant. I was ignorant as a kid, we don't know any better. Um, they're ignorant to people, to things that they're not used to. But deep down inside, you know, people are still people, you know, they, uh, those guys, they ended up being cool, you know. Um, when they came up to me, and you know they extended their their hand first, and as a sign of, sign of respect, that goes uh, a lot more for me than just me getting to a fight and winning, you know, because you know I feel like I won without using my fist. So, you know, everybody, I, I think everybody has a good side. There's probably like one or two really fucking bad people out there, but I think everybody is cool when you give them a chance. You know, they just don't understand you. So, on my next video. Um, I'll transition more about when I went to court and um, how it was when I went to camp, which fucking, which wasn't fun. So stay tuned.